right, so this is the beginning of our Rube Goldberg machine. Uh, we start by lighting a candle. So I'm going to do that right here. And the candle is going to burn this duct tape right here. And the spring is going to shoot that marble into the didgeridoo. Now this is all being held together by this contraption I've built. And let's see if it works. So at this point, the marble rolls out of the didgeridoo and hits this bouncy ball on the neck of this guitar right here. The next step is the bouncy ball hits this MP3 player and it clicks the play button at which starts the music. When the play button is pressed on the MP3 player, the music starts and the bass from the subwoofer pushes this bouncy ball off into this frisbee that I've made here and it rolls through this bottom piece like this. So my first part is this car on this track here and you put it very carefully at the top and it just kind of sits there like it's almost an art really. Uh, it takes like a lot of time normally. Now it's stopped so we can see what it looks like in action. So this is a cup I have that's on a pivot, which is like a giant thumbtack. It's pretty cool stuff. But basically the car comes and hits these dominoes. Like so. Oh, okay. Well, um, so this is uh, another more complicated part that I have right here. A little bit of a leader system. What we have is the domino from the table falls into this cup thing, which will come down, pull this string and this part up, which we have a, uh, a nice little pull from here which in turn pulls this part of it up and it will kind of knock this marble loose so like you just watch out when I drop the domino up here and ta-da! So this is a mouse trap. it's very dangerous, don't touch it. Um, what we have is, well basically this marble that you saw earlier comes down and hits it and this string is attached to something that James will show you later. So let's just watch this in action one, shall we? So this is the first part of my step to my process, and uh, as you saw earlier, the mouse trap launches the yellow marble of Jarrett's, uh, which is attached to this string, actually, uh, which is attached to this little cardboard. I don't know if you can see it, which stops this ball bearing. So when it's pulled out, like so, the marble is dropped and uh, goes down the track. All right, so uh, the marble that came down this track and then in turn hits this uh, little hinge device which hits this squishy hockey puck which bounces it up and it hits the start of the uh, automatic Thomas tank engine train. So uh, it starts the train like so. So uh, this Thomas tank engine train goes all around the track, then in turn hits these dominoes, like so. Alright, so uh, basically I got this mar the dominoes that you saw, and they hit this mouse trap again, I like mouse traps, uh, which pulls this string, which gets this uh, bottle cap out of the way, uh, so that the ball brings out in there can fall out. Like so. Basically, the string, this bottle cap comes out, and the ball bearings go down this other marble track. Like so. So uh, this little fancy trigger mechanism I built out of Meccano, and uh, so the ball bearings come down this nice long track, hit this trigger, which uh, then in turn pulls the uh, paintball gun trigger. Uh, like so. When the paintball gun hits the trigger. The uh, objective of our Rube Goldberg is to put the candle out again, which we started it like so.